When we hear the word cult, we think of something crazy, like, I don't know, a group whose gospel is based on the superhuman race of little men with metallic heads who dwell in the center of the earth. But nobody would believe this. Well, besides groups 14,000 members. Today, I'm going to tell you what a cult is, how they differ from mainstream religion, and provide a few examples of cults. We see a lot about cults in the media, but what exactly is a cult? According to Joseph L. Kyle Jr., the meaning of the word cult has changed over time. In the 20th century, the meaning of the word or term cult has come to describe a group that is destructive and has what you would call socially deviant belief practices and rituals. Yeah, that's what I said. Yep. Um, yeah. The term cult describes a social construct more than it does a religion. In fact, according to the article Cult by Gail of Women Viewpoints, a cult does not have to be religious to be considered a cult. The word cult has negative connotation, inciting negative reactions. As Cal points out, the meaning critics often apply the term cult disapprovingly to damage the reputation of emerging movements and to point out the differences between cult and the mainstream religion. The International Cultic Studies Association has created a checklist of common hmm. tendencies and, and characteristics that, if present, may indicate a cult. Some of these are as follows. The leader displays excessive passion, and the members display unquestioning commitment to the leader and regards the leader's belief system, ideology, and practices as complete truth and law. Questioning doubt and differing opinions are discouraged or even punished. Mind-altering practices and techniques are used excessively and serve to repress doubts about a group or leader. The group has a very strong us-versus-them mentality and paints society and non-members as evil. And to be seen as in complete obedience to the leader or group, members are required to cut ties with and disassociate from family and friends. As many cults have a religious or spiritual element to them, it is vital to make the distinction between a cult and a mainstream traditional religion. Cal says that an established mainstream religion is organized around a mutually agreed upon set of points that are enforced by a hierarchical structure. This means that it's not just one person in control, and rather that the establishment of beliefs are guided by a hierarchical structure, hierarchy of leaders. The leader maintains authority by, by tradition and is replaceable. The hierarchy of leaders determines that the main leader or any other leader if not adherent to the values or principles of the religion, they can be replaced and a new leader can be appointed with little to no disruption to the religion. A cult, on the other hand, follows a personalized, distinctively individual belief system developed by a leader who is typically charismatic and has full control and authority over the policy and procedure. The leader is often irreplaceable and maintains their legacy and reign over members even after they die. Though the commitment is still there, many cults may die off along with the death of their leaders, while others may splinter off in completely different directions. Those that are able to last may eventually take on the characteristics of a religious domination or even become an established religious domination. I talked earlier about some characteristics of cults, but a few examples might help to fully get the idea. Heaven's Gate was a UFO cult. You might recognize them as a cult that committed mass suicide in matchy black tracksuits and identical Nike sneakers. The leaders nicknamed Doherty preached that they were Christ-like extraterrestrials who had taken human form. They told and prophesied of a spaceship that would send true believers towards a higher level of existence. According to Wendy Gale Robinson of the Journal of Computer Mediated Communication, from the beginning of a cult, members believed that their bodies were just shells and made plans to leave the Earth and their bodies for a more evolved place in the universe. Heaven's Gate cult believed that traveling behind the hale bopp comet was a flying saucer. This led to the tragic mass suicide of 39 members of Heaven's Gate cult, who completed the mission to which they thought would cause spiritual transcendence. More recently, a cult by the name Love Has Won has been in the news after, according to CBS News, the mummified remains of leader Amy Carlson were found wrapped in a sleeping bag decorated with Christmas lights in a shrine-like fashion. Amy Carlson, who was called Mother of God by her followers, claimed that she could talk to angels, cure cancer, and was the reincarnation of both Jesus Christ and Marilyn Monroe. But according to an affidavit taken by the local sheriff's office, the cult was brainwashing people and stealing their money. These are just two examples of cults. Finally, now we know what a cult is, how they differ from mainstream religion, and know a little bit about a few specific cults. I'd like to leave you with the quote from cult leader Charles Manson. Sanity is a small box. Insanity 